Hi Cancer, The Awakened Dreamer here. To give you your mid-August money and career tarot reading, thank you so much for joining me. Do keep in mind this is general, so just take what resonates. But uh, as well, I do appreciate your love and support by liking, commenting, and of course subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, we're going to jump right into it, keep it simple, and pull from this tarot deck that I just added to my collection. Let's do some shuffling and see what we get. I'm hearing not too thrilled. Not too thrilled when at work or when at home. Could be both for cancer. The sun. There's a reminder that completion leads to happiness, but I feel as if there's a push to focus on when you're the happiest at work, when you're the happiest at home. Um, could be pushed to do a bit of reflecting um, on the recent past or even further back for some, uh, allowing for oneself to recognize that you have the strength. Um, two major arcanas coming out um, for the beginning of your reading, talking about how it's a very um, major part for you along your career path, along your uh, money path. Uh, as far as it could be a big turning point towards a new beginning, it could be um, a lot of uh, important levels of realization and success. I do feel as if you are um, feeling confident, but at the same time, just not really in the mood, okay? Um, but there are moments when you're feeling uh, ultra happier just in the moment you're in the mood, and there's a need to recognize why that is, okay? And try to either adapt uh, in a different way, uh, allow for oneself to adjust your habits at work or when in one's living situation or just allow for yourself to um, accept that moving towards a new situation may be the best for you at this time and moving forward or just when the time is right for you but I do feel like you're just depleted okay you're depleted and needing to um, potentially make some adjustments all right trying not to overwork yourself or being uh, pushed by spirit to recognize that overworking yourself isn't an option moving forward um, after a certain point but I do feel like there's certain people in the work environment you don't trust um, or you're seeing the true colors come to be in the second half of August and I really do sense that you're now taking on or for some continuing um, this very keeping to myself vibe and being very selective as to who you open up to or continue to open up to okay um, I really do sense that there's a need to keep the hope alive in the midst of all of which, all right? Thinking about um, what you wish to make come to be, whether it's levels of success, a new beginning, um, a certain amount of money you wish to save. Um, but I do sense that some of you are pushed to look back and or examine your amount of savings you have uh, or the amount of success you've accomplished recently or up until this point and just pat oneself on the back, okay? You've done a really good job um, in getting what you need to, and it could be more than one of what I just mentioned, uh, or even more than just that. Anyways, I also sense that the second half of the month reminds you that you're a star in the making, okay? And that your helpful nature comes into play. But I do feel like in more than one way, you could be feeling a bit restricted, okay? A bit restricted within your job situation, where you live. It could be both. Um, for some of you, it's a contract where you're feeling a bit restricted. But I do feel as if the energy in the air isn't the healthiest. You could find there are certain people at work that are just a bit combative or just not the nicest in nature or very, very competitive or all of which, okay? Um, there's a reminder that things are falling into place, okay? That you do have reasons to celebrate and to dig for your inner strength when need be and just push through, but don't overdo it. There's a reminder that you don't need to over force it or force it in general with conversations with uh, what you're trying to work towards. It may feel like at times you have to put in uh, effort consistently 24 seven almost, or just every single day for something to continue to grow or for you to succeed in certain ways and to make the amount of money you want. And I feel as if some of you are being reminded passive income as part of your future, but also just to, to not force it, okay? Just to do what you gotta do and um, communicate with ease. And I feel as if you're, again, seeing people's true colors at work or uh, just within your career and finances in one way, shape, or form. But communicating your way to victory, I feel the need to say, um, in a very bold and passionate way, it's like you won't be very smiley when communicating for the most part, 
but then somebody will make you smile in moments of communication, bonding, um, or even just getting the job done, and that will be a gift, okay? To lighten your energy, to help you uh, remember that you deserve to be happy while doing what you do, okay? But I also feel like the energy in the air is affecting things in one way, shape, or form. But with the King of Swords in the world, there's a reminder that your world is changing in a lot of ways. It feels like a never-ending change, even though things might have felt a bit stagnant recently. Um, but you have what it takes to um, to conquer whatever lies ahead obstacle-wise or just to make the best out of whatever new beginning you're about to embark upon or have recently or just uh, when going after certain levels of success, okay? Um, 550. 550 look up the angel number meeting as there is a message for you but i do feel like you are uh, being pushed to embark upon a new beginning or just view moving forward as a fresh start for oneself a passionate fresh start to allow for oneself to okay pass the baton to the universe and allow for things to just work out as they're meant to interesting but yeah, the High Priestess, don't be surprised when it's a very, very spiritually um, connected kind of second half of the month. And I feel like at times you can't catch your breath, okay? Uh, your dreams will be a bit intense and teach you something, but then feel like messing with. Um, but you're being pushed to have fun, to enjoy oneself. I do pick up on a bit of confusion within your energy um, at certain points, but there's just this push to be light and energy, to float through your obligations to migrate from one situation to the next and just remember everything's temporary, okay? If you so choose. But I do feel like sunlight's gonna come out in your second half of the month as your uh, best friend, okay? Something that helps you thrive, uh, feel happy, and just um, shine all the meanwhile. Uh, for some, get a tan, okay? But I do feel as if there's a push to travel lightly moving forward. A reminder that travel is part of your bright Cancerian future. And I sense that you're craving that at this time. When you're reminded of certain specific places on social media, that's because we need you to explore more cultures, different places. And I feel like for some, going back to the High Priestess, it's part of your spiritual journey, okay? But I do sense that you're being noticed, okay? People are watching you. People, heads are turning. Um, you're being seen as somebody who is going places, but... Um, I feel like people are a little bit confused uh, as well, but for different reasons. There's a focus on doing what's right for you, okay? Um, certain cups are being left behind, even if a situation isn't being left altogether, okay? I feel as if your view on things has changed between the previous month and this month, or even the first half of August to moving into the second. But I do feel like you're manifesting everything your heart desires at this time so don't forget that okay um i'm gonna move these down and put this up here and i feel like you're being viewed as somebody who can manifest people are either remembering that or realizing it or just seeing you as a very powerful individual and there's a lot of reasons to celebrate and just some recognition that's coming through as well praise i even want to say for your online business or for just the work you produce within your job um, or jobs for some of you working multiple opportunities and feeling quite depleted once again because of it all but being pushed to recognize that moving towards your happily ever after wherever that is for you even if that's just representing certain levels of success or a new department for some a promotion that is going to feel so damn good when you accomplish it but you have what it takes and you forget that at times and so let this reading be a reminder, the second half of the month be a reminder that you can conquer again whatever it is for you. You can achieve whatever it is for you. And for some of you, it's already set into place. So you just have to get through a few extra steps to get there. Um, but I sense that there's just a bit of anxiety in the second half of the month, uh, even if it, you're just picking up on other people's, to remind you of what's not meant for you. So that when there are future choices to make when it comes to investments for your money, and career options that you're going to remember okay boom that's not right for me or this is absolutely right for me a reminder that while you're manifesting a ton your intuition is strengthened as well okay and i do feel like there will be spots of emotion that will teach you something all the meanwhile but remember on top of it all your world is changing for the better and that doesn't leave your career and financial situations 
um, without change, all right? So I hope this was truly helpful. Sending you so much love and light, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Cancer.